Monday. It's now about one o'clock. I've been out for a cup of coffee, but not coffee. I had chai tea latte with my two friends. Uh, they were both mums from Lilia's year at primary school. So I've known them a long time. And we were catching up. We catch up quite regularly every few months. And one of them has finally achieved her dream of buying a house surrounded by land and not neighbours in the middle of beautiful Cornwall. And she, uh, at the moment, is staying in South London with her parents whilst they wait for that sale to go through. So she was very excited and we saw lots of lovely pictures of the new house. I'm just so excited for her. And yeah, it's lovely to see that her dream is coming true. So it was really nice to catch up with them and hear about how their girls are doing, who are exactly the same age as Lilia. And it's just always lovely to see them. Uh, I don't know what I filmed though. I did try to film whilst I was in this coffee shop, but I think I might have not actually pressed the record button. Mm. So goodness knows how this vlog is going to start. I did go to the charity shop. I know I definitely filmed some of that. Um, partly because I needed change for the car park. Uh, and partly because it's a good charity shop and they normally have a little something. And I found a gardening book, which I thought looked quite interesting. I had a little flick through it and I immediately saw at least three or four pages that I found helpful. And it's called The Container Expert by Dr. D.G. Hesse Young. Hesse Young? Okay. It's part of a series of gardening books. They do all kinds of different ones. Fruit expert, flowering shrub expert, greenhouse expert, house plant expert, and that kind of thing. And uh, because I like to grow in pots a lot, that rhymed. I thought this would be really handy and it looks really good. So I'm going to treat myself to a little read through this. It was only £1.50, bit of a bargain. If it's rubbish, I'll just give it back to the charity shop. Uh, and I got the change that I needed for the car park. And in our house, we always keep our birthday cards up for one week. So today marks the final day of my birthday card. So I've gathered them all up. And what I like to do is go through them and decide which ones I maybe want to keep and put to one side. Um, and the ones that I'm going to recycle. And then there are other ones which are not obviously birthday or they've been handmade for me. Like this one was uh, made for me by Jerry, who is a viewer of this channel. And it's so pretty that I think I might either stick it up. I've got a little um, on the inside of one of my wardrobe doors that I use for my yarn and everything. I stick th like pretty cards and things up or I might use it in my smash book where I just stick things. Actually, I haven't shown you my smash book lately. I don't know if I've done anything recently to it. But I'll make sure I share that with you this week. So that one will go to one side. Any Moomin cards I will be using for something. Just cutting out the Moomins because I love Moomins. Got another lovely handmade one from Anne. You might remember seeing that earlier in the month. And I really like the one that my boss sent me with the seahorse on it. So I might, I'm definitely going to cut that out for my smash book. And just, you know, I just like to go through them and read them again and just enjoy them all over again. Because birthday cards can feel so fleeting sometimes um, on the day. So I just want to read through and enjoy the messages. And yeah, I'm going to have fun doing that. But right now I need to go and cook two versions of bolognese. Because tonight Lilia has got a GCSE drama performance, which we're going to. Phoebe has got football training and they clash and she's also got to get to guide. So my mum has swooped into the rescue. She will be picking up Phoebe from school for us whilst we're at the drama show that Lily is doing. 
Uh, so I need to have dinner ready so my mum can just heat that up for Phoebe uh, when they get in. And then we'll have dinner for the rest of us when we get in that we can just heat up really quickly. So I'm gonna put on something on YouTube, on my iPad, set it up, cook two lots of dinner, clean the kitchen, and get everything ready for that. Also, whilst I was out, I bought some bedding plants. This is part of my ongoing battle to stop the cat. We don't have a cat, next door's cat, who thinks she lives here, um, from pooing in one specific area of the garden. So I, I've put a load of twigs and branches and stuff down, which I'm hoping might stop her, but I'm also, it's a very unplanted area. So I bought some cheap bedding plants. Here we go. Uh, from B&M. They were £3.50 for 20 and they are trailing lobelia. Anyway, they like full sun, which is the, what that flower bed will be. So I'm just going to fill the flower bed with some of this and fingers crossed it will take over a little bit and keep her off of it. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, by the way, I'm making my dad's recipe um, for spaghetti bolognese. I've shared it before. I can't remember in which vlog. I have shared the recipe. It's basically started off as a Delia recipe, which he completely modified. Um, and I photocopied the page in the cookbook with all of his notes and everything. If I can find the vlog, I will um, link to it. But if not, I apologise. <laughs> and I have now, I have further adapted it so that I can make it with corn so that um, Lilia and I can have the meat version and Dan and Phoebe can have the vegetarian version. I feel like I've said that already. So I'm repeating myself and I should stop talking. Let me just observe this windowsill for a second. Bear in mind that I clean this kitchen like daily. I don't know how everything ends up on the windowsill. So let's, this is Lilia's. This is um, an old Happy Meal cup we got which she uses for water for painting. So that needs to go with her art stuff in a box I've given her specifically, not on the windowsill. Also Lilia's, also on the windowsill, should be in the cupboard. She drinks Diet Coke out of it because what else would you do with a teapot? This, I am the culprit for this. This is one of my giant sunflowers, but it hasn't emerged. I might stick another seed in there actually and move it to my seed shelves. So I'm fed up of looking at it on the windowsill. Okay, I might be the culprit for this as well. <laughs> This is my Lapsang Souchong tea. I haven't actually tried any yet for my sister, so I might have to have one of those later. Mm. But I don't mind that being there because it looks nice. It's a nice tin. And the salted caramel biscuits from Fortnum & Mason from my friend. We've been working our way through and they are gorgeous. But I'm gonna put those with the biscuits. And now I need to clean the windowsill as well.
Wrong way, bowed. Wrong way, pigs. Bowed. Sis. Bye. Is that tasty? Is that nice? Today's treats involve spring greens, courgette, and sweet corn. Sweet corn's their favourite. Yes, hey, hey. I feel like David Attenborough. I bought a really, really cheap and cheerful um, little solar light from B&M because I've got this little hanging thing and the lantern that I had on it has been there for years and it's broken and this apparently flickers like a real flame <laughs> it's only three pounds I've got a feeling it might be a bit underwhelming but we'll find out when it gets dark Dan and I are just getting ready There's a cat in my house that I didn't realise was here. Hello. What? That's a funny look you're giving me. You're going to go and sit in that sunbeam? Yeah? I don't have a cat, in case you don't know. Dan and I are just getting ready to go down to the secondary school. Lilia has got a GCSE drama performance tonight. They've written them themselves. So we're going to go and watch that. I think I mentioned that earlier. And my mum is picking up Phoebe from football, um, after school football club right now. And I've left everything out. Bolognese in a little pan to be heated up, spaghetti on the side, thing of eggs ready for my mum because she loves to take some eggs. She eats a lot of them and she very much enjoys our chicken's eggs. And we've just had a text from Defra and it says, Plans have been announced to lift poultry housing measures for midnight on the 2nd of May. The avian influenza prevention zone mandatory biosecurity measures will remain in place for all birds. Uh, if you intend to allow your birds outside, you must take action. And then there's a load of links, but that's good. So whatever action we need to take, they can at least come out and um, have a little roam around for small amounts of time when we're in the garden. Oh, they're going to be delighted my garden they'll eat the weeds but they'll also eat everything else <laughs> so i'm gonna have to also take measures to protect my garden the cat is now staring at the wall <coughs> what? i'm gonna regret doing that because i'm gonna be covered in cat hair now aren't i you can go and have a little sleep under phoebe's bed we know that's what you like to do she's really purring Come on. It's sunny but cool. You go in? We are back. It is ten past seven and it is still sunny. Makes me feel very depressed. I have pasta on the go and Lilia has requested garlic bread, which we don't have. So I'm going to do my cheaty garlic bread, which I think I've shown you before, but basically I'm making toast, this normal sliced bread toast. I'm going to pour on some olive oil and spread it round. And then I'm going to rub it with some garlic and then cut it into little squares. And we have garlic toast. So that's our alternative. I'm going to do that. Whilst the spaghetti's cooking, I'm going to heat up our sauce. Phoebe's at Guides, all went well. My mum took her and everything was fine there. Uh, the chickens are happily bocking about in their run. And little do they know that it's only a matter of days and we'll be able to release them. They won't know what to do with themselves. So they're going to be scratching about the grass, eating, eating the creeping buttercup, hopefully, that has taken root in our flower beds. And what else do I need to say, Dan? Do I need to report anything else? Thank you for your comments and everything. It's been so lovely reading them. I had a little bit of extra time today to do that. And also, oh, well, something really specific I wanted to say. Oh, yes. Um, and Lilia's performance went really well. We really enjoyed it. It was, uh, it was really good fun. We're really proud of her. 
Do you have anything you would like to add, Dan? No. No. I am going to put some wine in the fridge. I am feeling up for a glass of wine tonight. After feeling quite grotty for quite a long time. I would finish... I've undecided. I would finish the wine that I had to run out and buy earlier when I realised I didn't have any, because Dad Bolognese has got to have wine in it. So I had to run to the, the shop and back to get it. But I, and I love red wine, but I can't drink it. My pouch um, can't handle it very well. And it's always so much stronger than what I like to drink. I drink quite low alcohol white wine. And you know, even this one's 13 and a half percent. I would be two sips in and I'd be vastly regretting it. So. Anyway, stop waffling, make garlic toast.